Hello, I am King Mac, and I like to thank you all for watching this future presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger with some french fries and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Hello, my friends! Hope you're all doing well today because we're it's time for some more beautiful action with Beautiful F -F -F Joe with my Beautiful Joe franchise review episode 165. We're on part two of two, the final part. And before I get started here, once again, I want to give a shout out to YouTube user SubZero MNX for doing the voice of King Man and for free green HD for making the video of, of the floating talking hamburger and stuff like that which I named King Max, so critical to both of you guys, and check them out, they're awesome. And like I said, this is, this is the final part of my Beautiful Joe franchise review, part two of two. We have a lot to talk about here to talk about the successor to Beautiful Joe, but before we can even start that, hot and fresh, off the grill, ready to, ready to be served, is a beautiful TT Burger recap to show you all what you missed. I took a look at the original Beautiful Joe, the PlayStation 2 version, and gave it a 9 out of 10 because it was a fun game, but there was the brutal difficulty and the frame rate issues in the, in the PlayStation 2 version and stuff like that. They prevented it from being a perfect game, but still, it's a kick-ass game and it's definitely worth owning. If you like side-scrolling scroll action, action games that are like Mega Man and stuff like that, it's definitely worth owning. I definitely recommend you checking it out because both versions are awesome for sure. But today we're going to zoom ahead to the year 2004 as we got to take a look at the sequel to Beautiful Joe. First released on the GameCube and then the PlayStation 2 once again. And we have it right here. Released on November 18, 2004 for the Nintendo GameCube and December 8, 2004 for the PlayStation 2. We have Beautiful Joe. Once again made by Clover Studios and Capcom once again. And I will say here... Beautiful Joe 2 is a kick-ass -ass sequel, a fucking amazing, am amazing sequel that has charm to it, to it like its predecessor. It's, 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 it's as much as its predecessor that still has charm to it, making it very enjoyable. Like that beautiful cheeseburger that you have your, that you had your eye on once again when, when scrolling through that, through that local, local burger joint that's not, that's not around a lot and stuff in, in, in main location, and you see it, and 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 it adds that that charm to it and stuff like that that makes it enjoyable. There are some holdover problems that remain from the first game, but it's still a very fun game. And did I mention it's beautiful, like that rare cheeseburger that has a charm to it? Okay, cool. Now, a lot of people hated Beautiful Joe 2 when it came out because um, reasons X, Y, and Z, I didn't understand why. Because this game was, was hated by certain people, and I just didn't understand why, but take it from me, it's a fun, kick-ass game for sure. A new feature added in Beautiful Joe 2 is that you can play as as Beautiful Joe's girlfriend, Sexy Sylvia, aka Sylvia. And you can switch between her or Joe at any time in the game, and she has her own moves like the ability to rewind time to solve puzzles and has this blaster that can lock on enemies when you buy the upgrade. She cannot run at run at mock super speed fast like 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 how Beautiful Joe can, but Sexy Sylvia is still fun to play. I kind of wish they had they made a spin-off game starring her, but hey, we get her in this, so, so that, that that that's fine there. Let's get it started here. The story of Beautiful Joe 2 takes place immediately after the ending of Beautiful Joe. Joe and Sylvia saved Movie Land and learn from Captain Blue that Movie Land will be threatened once again. They learn of an alien invasion from the forces of Ghetto led by the Black Emperor. Black Emperor turns Captain Blue into a Rainbow Oscar, which is one of seven in a set that represents Movie Land's happy ending. With the Rainbow Oscar, 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 Oscar power in its hands, the Black Emperor sets, sets to find more Rainbow Oscars to conquer Movie Land, to have the to have the good happy ending for himself and for and to, and for his men, the Jedi. The story, I will admit, this time is generic, but with the characters in it and what their motive is and stuff like that, it makes the story enjoyable. But the main problem I have with the story is that those who only played Beautiful Joe 2, not the predecessor, 
you will feel like you're missing a part of the story. There's no recap to tell you what happened. Just it takes place immediately after the end of the first game, and it just acts like you're supposed to know what happened, even, the, even if you didn't play the first game. But that's just me, though. The presentation, like I said, the presentation is excellent graphics once again. Pretty much the same as before. There's still some slowdown again, but it's very rare this time and time and stuff like that. You have great character models and backgrounds that have that that cel shade shaded field in them to make you feel like 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 you're watching a superhero action Japanese movie on the, on the screen, and it definitely shows that that there too. I mean, the graphics look great. I mean, like it's just that they still look great there to this day. Aside from like the few slowdowns there, just it's not gonna not gonna be that that big of an issue. But like. Graphics are once again on par with the predecessor, and they still look fantastic for its time, definitely. The sound, I gotta say, sound is fucking amazing. Great voice acting from Joe and Sylvia, as long as, as the other actors like Captain Blue and um, Black Emperor and stuff like that, they, they do a great job too. Once again, making you feel like you, you're you are in a superhero Japanese action movie, once again with the hero and a sidekick sexy Blue, Sylvia girlfriend, and they're, and they're teaming up, up this time. And they both say yummy when getting the food power-ups, and yes, the burgers and the fries power-ups are once again back, and that is cool, me being TT48, and me loving them cheeseburgers, stuff that, and them fries, it's good to have burger power-ups and fry power-ups again, that's, that's health and stuff, definitely. And that's what I say there, hearing yummy again is also fun too. The sound is stylish, badass, and beautiful. The gameplay in Beautiful Joe 2 is lots of fun, enjoyable, beautiful, if not more enjoyable than beautiful. Once again, we have a side score like 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 Mega Man game. Once again, where you kill the enemies by side scrolling scrolling to get to the end of the level by solving puzzle platform elements and trying to, to think on your feet to figure out uh, what to do. And it's simple, fun, bad at the time. But once again, the difficulty can get brutal at times, especially if you've never played this game before. It will probably think on your feet on where to go, and you could spend quite a bit of time in the levels trying to figure out what to do. So it's saying there for newcomers, that definitely. Me, like said, I said, I knew what to do, so I played it before, so that was the thing. Joe and Sylvia have some stylish, beautiful moves once again to defeat the bad guys. Joe can mock speed so fast, and can put out fire on him when he gets when he when he when he burns. And Sylvia can rewind time to solve puzzles and use her blaster that, that can lock on and stuff more. And you could you could I forgot to mention in the first game you can you can lock power up ups and stuff like that with beautiful points you can get, and you can get get like like extra lives, extra health. And more and more and more and 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 moves for for your character stuff too. You once again go through through seven episodes with multiple parts in them, and they all are, are badass like ancient ruins, mining areas with mine carts in them and stuff like that, with water in them and stuff, and like space stations and more and more. And it's all in Movie Land once again. I do like how they added more stuff to this game, like being able to play as sexy Sylvia and more. And it, it's it's an overall fun game, just as much fun as its predecessor. But now, we gotta talk about the bad. First off, I will say this. It's fun that you can play as Joe and Sylvia, but where's the cooperative play? Wouldn't it, it have been nice if, if you were able to play co-op with one player playing as Sylvia and one player playing as Joe? I mean, that, that would have been cool because, because that would have been cool. But no, the game is, is only one player and I just... Just don't understand why there's no co-op here, but as I said, it would have it it been awesome, but that's just me. Like I mentioned, the story can be a bit generic at times. I mean, it's not super, super generic to where it'll be a turn-off, but it can get a little generic at times, at times so that, that stuff does for me, let's say. And there's slowdowns that still exist, the frame rate stuff that, like in the PS2 version and stuff, but I don't know. I don't notice that, that many slowdowns at times, so, so they fix a lot of them, but there's some of them that still remain. And those of you who know who never who never played the, the first Beautiful Joe, and you only played this one, you'll feel like you're missing a part of the story. So you'll have to play them both to understand what's going on. But once again, like I mentioned, the brutal difficulties all over all over the place, especially for newcomers who won't know what to do. But still, it's it's a fun game overall. I'm just saying there, like I sure had those problems, but still, believe me when I say that it's still a kick-ass fun game for sure. Is what, what I'm trying to say there. So final thoughts here: If you love Beautiful Joe and want some more Beautiful Joe action. Beautiful Joe 2 is, is, is definitely worth owning your collection if you'd like some side scrolling action like like Mega Man started that too, or also like Capcom as well. And you want to want some more beautiful Joe action with some beautiful full Joe and sexy Sylvia, you're in for a treat because Beautiful Joe 2 is awesome. Due to the complaints I have with Beautiful Joe 2, I'm gonna be giving it the same score I gave, gave the first Beautiful Joe. A 9 out of 10. It does things better, but does things a little worse than his predecessor, but 
If you can find them, hey, they're both, they're both, they're both fucking amazing, beautiful, like that, like, like that beautiful, charming cheeseburger that that, that you see at at a, at a restaurant that doesn't have many locations. You have to have to like, like go somewhere to eat that burger and stuff like that. And especially because this power up had burgers and fries too. So yeah, that's just a saying there. And King Mac would be proud, definitely for sure. And that's what we gotta say. They're in perfect, uh, not perfect, nine out of ten for both. Even if it's not perfect, ten like. It's perfect that they both have 9, so 9 out of 10 for both these, definitely. And they're both worth owning in your collection. There was a beautiful Jogi on the DS and, and the PSP and, 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 and Wii and stuff like that, but I don't own them because I don't I don't care for portable gaming, and just like I heard those games were not that good. It was a shame we never got, got an original third, original Beautiful Joe 3, because, because like, it would have been nice if we had, had an, another Beautiful Joe game that, and like a, have a Beautiful Joe trilogy, but still... You can only do so much there. When it comes to Beautiful Joe, I recommend the first two games. They're both fucking amazing. They have, they have that that beautiful charm to them, and they're definitely worth owning in your collection for sure. So final thoughts here: pick them both up. Whether you have the GameCube or the PlayStation 2, the both both just pick them up. They're both fun, definitely. Pretty much all I gotta say is it's Tony. Peace and out. Have a great day. And you know what to do. If you like what you see here? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Go and comment down below and. Click on, on the link to join my Discord group, TT Burger Gamers United, because I'm always looking for more people to join. The link is in the description below, I'll knock away 24 hours, so click the link if you want to join, and because I'm interested in meeting my fans and talking to them and getting to know you all and stuff like that, because it's always fun giving the fans, fans what they want, and, I'm def and definitely want to, want to do that for them, for them definitely. That's pretty much all I gotta say. The next episode, what will we have for one, episode 166? We have to find out. I can't tell you. Will it be a multi-part review? Well, you have to find out. I can't tell you. Which all you gotta say is Tony. Peace out. Have a great day. See you all in episode 166.